for a change this isn't a homemade design I've actually bought this whole kit this was 109 pounds I believe uh, from a company in Germany called eco shit this is what we're going to end up with by the end of this video there will be other bits I want to do to it so I want to put little units on either side to increase the width slightly when it goes into our room whatever we're using as a absorbent compound uh, normally be wood shavings like hamster bedding um, that's where I want to put it in a separate pot next to it so it's all accessible um, but yeah this is basically what we're gonna end up with as the main toilet so consists of your number one jug this is a 10 litre bin so much bigger we only had five litres in the old van so looking forward to having 10 litres this is your number two bin which is literally just a bucket with a handle this is the separator this little rubber thing here is a little valve so your number one goes in there and then when it stops the valve closes up so you don't get the smell from it that lines up on there like so um, the bucket is aimed perfectly underneath your number two bit and then we will be modifying the actual toilet seat I bought some hinges the other day so we're gonna be removing the hinge from there making a nice flush hinge one of the things I didn't like about our previous composting toilet was that it still left a gap around the toilet seat so maybe any smells could have come through there um, we also have, which won't be in this video, in that Amazon box there, is a big fan. That's going to be going on the outside of the van, but that will be a later video. So, first thing we need to do, look in our instructions. These are, by the way, available in two sizes. They do a slightly smaller one, which is only a 5 litre. Um, obviously, like I said we went for the bigger, bigger one. So, we're going to need a 47 centimetre by 37 centimetre flat piece of wood for the top we'll we've got plenty over there we can we can work with either the mdf or the plywood um there's lots of wooden slats 24 by 48 mil uh b and q had these ones which are 27 by 44 so not quite the same but good enough um they say you want five and a half meters we've got nearly 10 there so we'll be all right there um and then it's just a case of following the instructions and uh, building our toilet. Now this is pretty good because it tells you there's four steps, uh, sorry, four different sizes you need um, of, of the wood. So I'm literally gonna go through here and it tells you four pieces with a length of 310 millimeters uh, for the five litre version, ours is the 10 litre, so we want 420 millimetres and three pieces of 400 and so on. I'm going to do that first, so we've got all of our wood laid out and then there's simple instructions on the assembly. Right, here we go. A, B, C, D. Just as the book says. So next thing I need to do then is start assembly. And uh, it is pretty straightforward, um, tells you here three B's, two D's, screw them together. Tells you you need some 40 mil screws, which I've got plenty of them. Uh, I think it's only like 30 of them, that's a pack of 100, so should be fine. And I'm literally just gonna follow these instructions now and uh, get the thing screwed together. <laughs> Here we go. Only one mistake I made. May have split the wood slightly, but that's not a problem. It is really sturdy and quite light. Uh, obviously, I've still got the top to make. I've got to put the toilet seat on. I've got to put the separator in, all of that jazz. But I can now show you the basic idea. There's the number two bin. And there's the number one bin. Ta-da! That should sit nicely on there. And all the measurements are perfect. Look, it sits perfectly in there. Um, I've still got a bit of wood to put in the top there, which will obviously raise 
set up to there and perfect aim for your number twos. So looking at the gap there, I think it's safe to say that the only piece of anything thick enough I've got is MDF. So I've now got to cut a nice bit of MDF to go over there and then we can look at fitting the toilet seat. My plan, diverter screwed to the bottom of the toilet seat, not the lid, the toilet seat, on a hinge at the back so the whole thing can hinge up like that and then back down again and hopefully sits nicely in there. And then the top of the toilet seat as well, same thing, separate hinge. What I'm going to do now is grab my toilet seat. That's heavier than I thought. I went for a wooden one because I think it would look a bit smarter, but the seat weighs more than the rest of it. Um, so I need to disassemble this, I need to take these covers off and hopefully I can screw that toilet seat straight, well, screw up. I'll drill some holes in here and screw that straight into there. Right, I've drilled a few holes around the edge here and uh, it's upside down obviously. Toilet seat. No, I've done this wrong. Let's make sure we get this right around. Right, toilet seat upside down. Separator goes on. Now, the good thing with this is, with this particular separator, is that it has a nice straight edge on the back so I can line it up perfectly. I'll um, play around with that in a moment. And then I've got these tiny little screws that actually came out of the original screws from the plywood. They got a nice flat head on it, or flat enough head. Um, so I'm gonna screw them in. There's plenty of space there. Shouldn't go too far through. Nope, there's plenty of space there. Shouldn't go th too far through the seat. And um, yeah, we should end up then being able to hinge this with my new hinges that I've bought on the back. All right, this is working out really quite smart. Really pleased with this. So that's worked well with all the screws in there. Uh, so the only th next thing to do is fit my new hinges. So these are flush ones, flush mount ones. Um, again, it's part of the reason I don't mind that there's a little raised section on, on there, but it won't cause a problem. Um, these hinges will sit probably one there and one there. I'm just hoping that they screw into there all right. Um, you can see they're tapered. They've got like a um, countersunk on the outer one there, and then the inner one is countersunk that way. Um, so I've got a choice on which way I would do them. I'll probably go that way, I think, because I want the hinge around the back of here. Once these are fitted, it means whatever's left on the back of here, I can, in theory, take off. However, before I do that, I need to make sure that the seat sits past the midway point and um, this I'm not too bo sure not, not too bothered about sitting back there because I can put a hook on but the actual main toilet seat uh, I'll put that back in there the main toilet seat needs to sit tilt backwards slightly otherwise it's going to slam down on you um, so we might not be able to get rid of too much of this but at the moment with this build every little helps so like I said the next thing we'll do then is fit those hinges and here we go Perfect. Some of those screws for the hinges are poor. They're only brass uh, screws and they like to snap. <laughs> so I managed to get most of them in. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. I need a little bit of adjustment because it's a bit, there's a small gap there. Um, but that is just a case of adjusting these screws slightly. Um, not a problem. I might even need to get new screws. So that's that. And so you probably saw it, it sits up quite nicely on its own. Um, I haven't quite decided what to do with this yet. I am tempted, very tempted, to just try and turn these um, hinges around. As you see, what I could do is bolt a piece of wood along here, or screw a piece of wood into here. Um, if I put that sort of there, I could trim this to about there. I've got a piece of wood underneath to hold to screw that in and then that would allow the toilet seat to come up um, so not quite decided yet so I'm probably going to worry about that later on in the build um, but 
if you want to build yourself a nice cheap composting toilet that weighs next to nothing and is pretty easy, nice straightforward one to, to build. Take your waste out there. We'll take your number one waste out there. Take your number two waste out the side or the back. Yeah, highly recommend Eco Shit. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.